Good day class, I am John Paul Magallanes of MTPBST 32A2 and our topic for today is about Regulation 28, Records of Navigational Activities and Daily Reporting. Summary, Key Navigational Activities to be logged. A complete record of the voyage must be able to be restored. Regulation 28, Number 1. All ships engaged on international voyages shall keep on board a record of navigational activities and incidents which are of importance to safety of navigation and which must contain sufficient detail to restore a complete record of the voyage, taking into account the recommendations of the adopted by the organization. When such information is not maintained in the ship's logbook, it shall be maintained in another form approved by the administration. Number 2. Each ship of 500 cross tonnage and above engaged on international voyages exceeding 48 hours shall submit a daily report to its company, as defined in Regulation 9.1, which shall retain it and all subsequent daily reports for the duration of the voyage. Daily reports may be transmitted by any means, provided that they are transmitted to the company as soon as practicable after determination of the position named in the report. Automated systems may be used, provided that they include a recording function of their transmission and that those functions and interfaces with position fixing equipment are subjected to regular verification by the ship's master. This, shall, this report shall contain the following. Number 1. Ship's position. Number 2. Ship's course and speed. Number 3. Details of any external or internal conditions that are affecting the ship's voyage or the normal safe operation of the ship. Refer to A916-22 IMO guidelines for the recording of events relating to navigation contained in Annex 22, Recording of Navigational Events. MCA Guidance Number 1, Regulation 28 applies to all ships on internal voyages except for UK flag pleasure vessels of less than 150 GT. Number 2, the regulation together with the following guidance, notes, and IMO guidelines supersede M1104. Number 3. The IMO guidelines for recording navigational events are contained in Annex 22. All bridge orders requiring changes in direction or speed of the main propulsion unit must be recorded. In addition, other key navigational events should be recorded including changes of course passing of waypoints, weather and sea conditions, incidents and events including pilot embarkation, disembarkation, tugs, hazardous occurrences and accidents. Number 4. Time marked electronic or mechanical records are acceptable including those from echo sounders, course recorders, engine telegraphs, and navtex receivers. Number 5. It must be possible to reconstruct the ship's track throughout the voyage. The IMO guidelines state that the navigation records, whether paper, electronic, or mechanical, should be retained on board for a period not less than 12 months. The MCA's interpretation of this requirement is that records retained for 12 months should be provide sufficient details to reconstruct any voyage during that period, the MCA recognizes that it is impractical to retain voyage details on paper charts for longer than the duration of the voyage. Therefore, sufficient details of waypoints, courses, times of alteration of course, and or speed and the other relevant details must be entered in the logbook and courses and positions on all navigational charts should be retained until the voyage is completed. 
This information should be saved electronically with when this is used for, to fulfill the requirements of Regulation 19, paragraph 2.1.4. Number 6. For further guidance is contained in the notes following the IMO guidance in Annex 22. And that is all, sir, about our topic, Regulation 28, regarding records of navigational activities and daily reporting. Thank you, sir.